Hey everyone, I'm glad you're here. My name is Shannon, you know me as Badass Cross Stitch, and I'm on a mission to teach one million people how to embroider. Uh, why am I doing this? Because I believe that we're in a time when we need to find some digital analog balance, and that means putting down our devices and picking up things and making things with our hands. But don't worry, I love digital too, so after you create something, I want you to pick your phone back up, take a picture of it, put it on Instagram, because that's how we spread the word about digital analog balance. Embroidery is my favorite. It's super cheap, I can teach it really quick, and you can do all sorts of things with it. I think of it as like a gateway craft. I want everybody to learn how, so I'm gonna teach you. First, I'm gonna start with all the things that you need in order to embroider, which really isn't a lot. The first thing I need to do is teach you some words. Uh, I've done a great disservice to the world by calling myself badass cross stitch because I mostly embroider and now everybody thinks everything is cross stitch. So the first word you need to know is needlework. Needlework is the art of creating with a needle. That could be a, a needle, it could be knitting needles, it could be a crocheting needle, it could be a tapestry needle for weaving. Okay, all of those things are sort of under the giant umbrella of needlework. We are needleworkers. Soon you will be a needleworker. Second word, embroidery. That is the handicraft of decorating fabrics or other materials using a needle to apply thread or yarn. <sighs> Basically anything that we stitch is embroidery. There are 52 different embroidery stitches you can learn on my website, badasscrossstitch.com. The third word I want to teach you, cross stitch, that is one type of stitch, one kind of embroidery stitch. It's defined by the X shape uh, stitches that you're creating. Today we would call that pixels. So the only time you get to call an embroidery a cross stitch is if all of the components of it are created with these little X-shaped stitches. So I hope that clarifies things. Cross stitch is one kind of embroidery. We are needleworkers. I am a needleworker. I mostly embroider. Sometimes I cross stitch. Clear as day, right? Okay, good. Moving on. The last word I want to teach you is craftivism. It's a new word coined by Betsy Greer. Her definition is craft plus activism equals craftivism, which I love and it's so easy to remember. My personal definition is handmade social change. And it's really using any craft, uh, in this case embroidery, to create some sort of social change, some momentum. So if you are looking for a craftivism project, I would like to direct you to badassherstory.com. And if you're here to learn how to embroider for that project, I'm very excited. And I've got a whole bunch of tips for you coming up. Okay, now that you have the terminology down, we're ready to talk materials. The first thing that you need is an embroidery hoop. They come in wood or plastic. They go from tiny to medium size to ginormous. For this purpose, I like to stick with a six inch hoop. It's easy to hold, easy to use, and it's great for beginners. Six inch hoop. And now you need fabric to put in your hoop. You can use any kind of fabric. We're just like figuring out how to embroider at this point, so it doesn't matter. Uh, my favorite is embroidery fabric. I'm not kidding, it's a thing. It's like beautiful and it's perfectly made for people who want to embroider. Otherwise you can use cotton or linen or poly blend, just have some fabric. Um, and I prefer a light fabric to start um, because it's easier to transfer patterns to, which you're gonna learn in the next video. All right, you've got your hoop, you've got your fabric, now you need a needle. I work with tapestry needles. They have a rounded tip so that when you're working with them, you're not constantly stabbing yourself and bleeding all over your embroidery. They also have a much bigger eye, which just makes your life a lot easier when you're constantly threading and re-threading. All right, the next thing you need, scissors. A large pair for cutting fabric and a small pair for cutting thread. A word about scissors. 
spend a little extra on good quality scissors and never cut anything but fabric with them. You will thank me. All right, you also need floss, which is just a fancy word for the embroidery thread that we use to embroider with. Uh, you can get it at any craft store in any color imaginable. Super cheap. Okay, the last thing that you need is what I like to call magic. It's the disappearing ink pen. There's two different kinds. There's water soluble and air soluble. So if, it's, if you buy the air soluble one, then you're gonna have to stitch fast because it's just gonna disappear at some point without your planning. If you get the water soluble one, then you really have to wash the color out. So I prefer that one because I'm not a super fast stitcher. So to make this real easy for you, I'm gonna put a shopping list with all the links for all the products that you need in the description of this video. All right, you've got your vocabulary, you've got all your materials. Check out my next video, which is how to use patterns, and then the third video, which is how to stitch, and then that's it, you're done. You're a needle worker, you're stitching, you're an embroiderist, you've got this.